We're able to uh, close out the home season with a with a win for our seniors, and uh, really, I think of you know a home stand this year that that we're proud of. Um, and uh, and I thought offensively, if we'd gotten on the field more, it, we probably had could have. Uh, I thought we thought we could have done a lot more offensively than what we did, but we, we struggled to get off the field defensively and didn't get off to a very good start. Um, get down 14 points and just really bad tackling, and I, I thought some very unfocused play altogether defensively. Uh, even though in the second half, I thought we played better, and I thought we made some stands, you know, to get off the field. Um, but I think I think we were struggling to really keep our focus uh, defensively, and uh, you know that's you know, we're going into the last game of the season. I mean, we, it's hardly a uh, point that you can stop. You know, we'll do something about it spring training, but uh, you know we gave up more offensive yards this team than anybody else has. They were on the field 86 plays, and we were on the field 56 plays, 30 more plays. So, um, you know, I thought there were some great efforts on defense, so before I leave that point, Demetrio Tyson is a really fine football player. Um, uh, Rashad Smith is a really fine football player. Um, and maybe, you know, with some further examination defensively, you know, I, I might, you know, can find some other strong points on defense. Offensively, I thought that, you know, that we, uh, when we did have a penalty, I thought we were, uh, I thought we were, I thought we were good. Uh, our running backs ran well. Uh, Marquez made uh, key conversions in the passing game, and uh, um, you know I thought we well, we scored enough points to win. So, uh, but I am, you know, I am bothered uh, by how we played defensively. I don't want to have to deal with that with them. And I don't mean by the coaching part of it either, because I thought all the calls were on the money. Uh, I didn't think we stepped up and played as good as we could have played. Uh, but anyway, if I sound like I'm not happy and we won, and somebody wake me up, because any time you win, you need to be happy. Uh, just... Jack, what, what, what gave you the sense that Coop would be the difference in the second half? Because he's done it, this, you know, he's a, he's a very physical runner that just advances the ball, and uh, you know he, he fumbled there early, but but that he had, you know he missed a couple of weeks, and, and then we come back, we've not practiced him live. And it was just, uh, you know, it's just that he hadn't been hit that's the first time, and, and uh, you know I had to settle him down because you know, that boy now he's serious about what he does in the football field, and he don't take nothing lightly. But he was a guy that I thought could create the physicalness in the running game. And I thought we should be more physical than they were. We just had to play physical. And when when uh, when uh, Coop's in there, you just become a more physical football team, taking nothing away from LaShawn. Uh, uh, they're a great combination together. Uh, they both know that. And so, uh, you know, we're just lucky to guide him. And he did, I think, set the tempo the second half. Coach, you know, the last four games, I guess, side by total of 11 points, feel good that sort of, even though they came down there a few times in the fourth, I guess it didn't feel that way. Bit. No, it didn't feel that way. Um, but, I, yeah, I, you know, uh, our fans mean the world to us, and we're still a program that's really, you know, we don't have an established, what I call an established fan base, and uh, uh, I think winning at home is really, really important. And uh, I don't care if it's by one. <laughs> by whatever the margin was here. You know, I just, I think you, you want your fans to believe you're going to win every time you show up and play in front of them. And uh, so. Is that something you reminded the kids of? Always. But I'm telling you, those seniors, the seniors we got on this football team, I think are, it's sad because it's, it's not the kind of year that represents, I think it's the best group of seniors we've ever had. Uh, just each one of them, there's not enough of them on defense. And uh, yeah, I reminded about it. I tell you, I didn't know have to do a whole lot of talking. I mean, I got through my little two cent speech, and they, the seniors, got up. They took care of halftime. And there's seven of them on offense, you know, and uh, 
or more of them on, a lot more, nine of them on offense and five of them on, I think, on defense. And so uh, it's just, they, they set the tone on offense. They have to influence what happens on defense. What, uh, I mean, what they, what they get up and say, because clearly you did not play well in the first, I mean, you tied the game and you played well, not the things well. that I heard, and it was sort of as my back was turned and walked away, was I don't know what some of y'all thought this game was going to be about, but you know now, so do something about it. <laughs> and, it, you know, they were, it wasn't a stand-up speech. It was as they were coming together and getting in that tunnel. Uh, I mean, those, and, and oddly enough, the receivers aren't normally your big talkers, but those three senior receivers, They'll, they'll call you hand, Trey and Allen and Cooper. They'll call you hand also. Speaking of uh, receiving, is uh, Illy's pass catching uh, skills underutilized or an overlooked set of skills? You know, I mean, he caught two touchdowns. Uh, well, he, I think Bashan is a uh, great, I mean, a great uh, guy to throw the ball to. Do we do it enough? No, but. I, I can't I can't criticize that we've not made good decisions and he is a second guy and we are getting the ball with the first guy by. Yeah, yeah. So I mean it's not like we're not smart to use it, but we you know I'd like to get it to him more. And, and, and well, we got one more game to prove it. Kind of going forward for him. I mean yeah, he's, 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 he's gotta he, be a pass catcher too. He right? is a uh, third down caliber play after he leaves here kind of back. And Butler snuffed another kick. It's two. I thought he had three, but it was two. And, and it was a big block that he made. Yeah, it was a big block. Is it time. just having a big body there? I mean, I think he's got a knack. He's a great basketball player, and I think he's got a knack for timing because you can't just jump. You got to see the ball and time it out with the ball. And he's, you know, he's you all saw him. I guess he's six seven, but he's got a great vertical jump to go along with it, and he's got a knack at when to jump. 